Hi, this is Eric Kluger from Stratacom, and I'm just going to show you the Jira bot for Teams. So Atlassian has got a bot for Microsoft Teams. That's pretty cool. It's called Jira Cloud. You can see I've got it installed here in my instance. It's right here. So this Jira Cloud is installed, and there's a lot of really cool things you can do for, with it. So if you're familiar with the Stratacom Smart Buffer Sharewell, this is pretty similar. It's actually, it actually has a bunch more functionality. So you can see I can make changes here to the notifications. So one of the big things it can do is notify you of ticket updates in Jira Service Management or in Jira. So I can actually turn those notifications off or I can choose what I want to be notified about. So if I go into manage my notifications, I can see I've got these direct notifications. So if someone mentions me, if there's comments or activity on my assigned issues or on things I reported, I can get notifications for those. And those look like this. So we can see like Jason updated a, a reporter on an issue here. And I've got some actions that I can do. Basically I can turn off the notifications. I can unwash this. I can add a comment to this issue. So if I just want to quick add a comment, I can do that. I can post that comment to the issue. I can also edit the issue and you'll see when I edit this issue that I can change any of these fields here. I can also go down to any more fields and you can see I've actually got some fields from a Sherwell instance that I've got copied in here that I can actually select also. So these are custom fields that I added and they also show up on here and I can add an attachment. Really cool functionality. So the other thing that you can do is you can actually create tickets from here. So what you do is you actually just assign the bot to a channel in a team. And then you can go to that channel. So I've got this general channel in my Stratacom Jira Geniuses. And I can go over here to the Jira cloud. And now what it'll do is it'll show me issues that are assigned that are in my Jira cloud. So I've actually, let me choose a project in here. So I've got a couple projects that are mine in our Jira cloud instance. We can see all of these. I can sort by signee. I can sort by status. And so once I'm in here, I can actually edit these just like I could from that other card. So I get the same form. And I can actually open these in Jira, add an attachment. I've actually got the, the values in here. So I believe this ticket was actually copied in from Sherwell. It's so really cool. And I can also create an issue right from here. So I can do create issue and I can select which project this should go in, what type of issue this is. So if it's an incident, I can create an incident right out of here, create that and it creates it right in Jira. So if you work out of teams a lot, you wouldn't necessarily even have to go to the Jira site in order to manage your service management tickets, you could manage them right here. You can search on here. So lots of really cool things. Last thing I want to show you is uh, similar to our Sharewell created ticket. You've, uh, we've also got the Jira created ticket. So I can create it, say a Jira task in here, for example, that'll bring you up the task information. You can create an incident, you create really any type of record. And also I can also comment in Jira. So I can add this as a comment to a particular ticket. I can go down here and choose my site. Most of you probably only have one site. I can search the issue that I want to add the comment to. So I can add it. I can post my comment right here. It's a really cool way to, to add comments from Microsoft Teams into Jira. So this is free. It comes with Jira and Jira service management. So if you're thinking about moving to JSM from another product. This is actually a really great feature that Atlassian offers for free. It gives a lot of the functionality that some of our customers were asking for in other products and also at no cost and really is a, a great addition. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates about your server management. Thanks.